This programme is essentially a competition between all of the middle schools in Lubbock. Each school is represented by four students, two male, two female, and the teacher, and a Texas Tech student assistant. And usually the programme involves designing some kind of engineering-related contraption. This year, the main challenge was to build a hovercraft out of leaf blowers and wood. We started with mini hovercrafts just to kind of get the idea of what a hovercraft is supposed to do, how it glides across the floor, um, and kind of the mechanics behind it. We got a basis of like what a hovercraft is and like how it works. So our mini challenge was to make a mini hovercraft with like CD plates, balloons, and uh, straws and other items. The hovercrafts are being powered by uh, leaf blowers. Um, so the steering apparatus showed the students how to maneuver the leaf blowers into some sort of steering mechanism. As all engineering teachers do, we tell our students to have a game plan uh, before they ever start cutting and building. So we start off with that and from there we moved in the construction phase of our hovercraft. Once our construction phase was done, we went into the testing phase and from that, with that testing phase, we were able to troubleshoot and hopefully solve some of the problems we had with the performance of our hovercraft. It's a lot of measuring and getting parts right because if you get it like uh, if you get a certain part too big, then it won't lift. If you get it too small, it won't have enough. It was fun, but if you even messed up a little bit, it was very unforgiving. So even if you messed up a little bit, it was a lot that happened. It's been really fun seeing how their minds work as they're kind of learning and growing and taking in this information um, and how that affects like their decision making as far as like the whole design process goes so far. So the overall goal is to get more students involved in STEM because many times they don't really know what STEM is and also it gives them a chance to meet college students that they may look up to because tech is a big school and we help them and we also encourage them and tell them like our degrees or what we do in school or how is it like for college for us. They get to do math and science without almost realizing that they are learning it. And clearly if anyone sees how they behave here, they have lots and lots of fun and great enjoyment. And then at the end of the week, after spending the week designing it, they come here for a competition. I think it's a really fun project and if I would, so far if I could do this again, I would. <laughs> I hadn't known that this existed until my teacher invited me, but whenever I heard that I had this opportunity, I was excited to do anything that I could to learn more about all this STEM stuff. But it's a chance for, as for teachers, we get to work with our students kind of in a different environment to get to do a big build that we don't get to do in the classroom. Because most of the time it's, it's unfeasible to do this with, with large classrooms. So having four students, I get to do something special with four select students and then they also get the opportunity to interact with the other students from the other middle schools and a lot of them they will be in the, they're in the same feeder pattern with these other students and they will have uh, familiar faces when they take engineering classes at Coronado, Monterey, Estacado and at La Bacana. Congratulations to each of you. It gets students at what I'll call an impressionable age, which I think is middle school. I think it's often too late to get them, if you go to high school, to get them excited in math and science with a hands-on activity. They are learning while doing. And so sometimes I think this is the perfectly designed program.